Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing a bit of a quick video on the key differences between the Pixel 4a and the iPhone SE, the 2020 edition that just came out. A uh, bit of a spec sheet uh, comparison. So the specs only. So a lot of things I won't get into about this video, but I'll start off straight from the bat and see how we're looking here. For example, CPU, RAM, that kind of thing. So if we were to start off here, we would be looking at the, the CPU for instance. So as you might know, the Pixel 4a has the Snapdragon 730 CPU, which is a bit of a middle tier, middle range CPU there, which uh, isn't, uh, is obviously not high end given its name, but uh, yeah, it might still do the trick, who knows. On the right hand side with the iPhone SE, we've got the A13 Bionic chip, which actually is on the iPhone 11 Pro. So there is no comparison here, there is no contest. Although the, uh, the Pixel 4a does have eight cores and the iPhone SE has six cores, the iPhone is just optimized a lot better. So it is a lot better CPU. Moving on, in terms of RAM, we've basically got double the RAM on the Pixel 4a, which is interesting to see. I won't so much talk about optimization in this respect, but we'll just do it as a spec sheet video. So continuing on, we've got the screen size. So 5.81 inches on the left there for the Pixel 4a, and uh, just a mere screen size of 4.7 inches on the right for the iPhone SE. So it's not as uh, amazing in screen size, depending on if you're watching videos, that sort of thing there. But moving on anyway, Next up is the screen type. So on the left, we've got OLED for Pixel 4a. So the the, the blacks are blacker and it's a, more of a low powered device there. But on the right side, the iPhone SE uses LCD. So older technology from 2014 backwards, that sort of thing, which means uh, it's got a bit of a backlit display and it doesn't uh, have those, those deep blacks like you'll find on the Pixel 4a. Moving on, the resolution. So we've got a full high def display for the, the Pixel 4a. Now it's actually called FHD Plus because it's a little bit longer than the 1080 by 1920. So it's uh, got a, a longer aspect ratio. Then for the resolution on the iPhone SE, as you can see, it, you've guessed it, 750 by 1334. Pretty common display size in years gone by, but it is smaller. So the images aren't just gonna look that crisp in comparison. Next up is the batteries. So the battery on the Pixel is uh, a 3080 milliamp hour uh, battery with fast charging. And the iPhone SE is uh, the 1821 milliamp hour, with both with fast charging. So we're talking about 18 watts of fast charging. Both can charge about half the device in about 30 minutes or so. One thing, uh, one key thing to note is uh, you don't actually get the fast charger in the box for the iPhone SE, which is a bit of a shame. You do have to pay extra for it. Uh, next up is the cameras. Now I won't really get into much about the cameras on this video, just uh, you know, but just at least to say that there's one front and one back for each of them. Again, uh, the operating system, something I won't get into for this particular type of video, uh, but just to say that it is a, uh, an Android 10 on the Pixel 4a and the iOS 13 on the iPhone SE, the newest release one. Now, uh, if we were to mark these for a bit of a score, we'll find that uh, we have uh, a lot of probably preferable attributes, potentially arguable. Sure, some people want a small screen, some people want a bigger screen, modern day screen. But uh, this is just my uh, my take on a few of these things here. So this is really what we're looking at. So yeah, it's got a way better CPU, the iPhone, but uh, everything across the board is generally known to be or agreed to be a lot better on the Pixel 4a. So that's pretty much it guys, that's my uh, spec sheet video, uh, a bit of a versus comparison between the Pixel 4a and the iPhone SE, the 2020 edition, also known as SE2. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, all of those nice things, and yeah, thanks again for watching, cheers.